looks like it's most of the creature. It looks like it's all of it. Like I can see the both wings, I can see the legs. The way CT works is it basically puts x-rays through the patient or through the mummy and records how many x-rays got absorbed. Um, one of the issues with metal is that it stops x-rays dead in their tracks and then it casts this really ugly shadow to um, degrade the image. Basically what, I, what we do by that is we're really cranking a lot of x-rays through them to get through those denser areas. And, and my worry was that some of these things would cast an artifact, these really dense resins or these areas that might have metal in them even, I'm not even sure. We have about 65 animal mummies in the Brooklyn Museum. They began to come into the collection as early as 1905, and the majority of them came to the collection in 1937 as part of a major purchase that the Brooklyn Museum made of Egyptian antiquities. One of the most fascinating mummies for me during this whole study was what we actually found out during the CT scanning of this mummy. Um, we had previously x-rayed him in the lab and found an odd bone um, which the vet, when he had come to look at it, thought maybe it was a cat bone, but wasn't sure. And it really illustrates uh, what an x-ray can show you. An x-ray can show you radio-opaque or dense material from one angle only, and that's it. So it was really hard to distinguish what was going on inside this mummy, and, and we thought it was odd because clearly it's a very elaborately wrapped mummy with a wooden ibex head, and there was his fantastic headdress that actually goes on the top there. So when we took it to be CT scanned, what we found actually on the inside was that this is all stuffed with bundles of feathers which, since they're more soft tissue, you can't see in an x-ray. And the vet could clearly confirm that the bone that was inside was in fact from a bird and not from a cat. We already had x-rays for some of them, so I kinda, yeah, I'd say for probably half of them, we knew what we were getting into. We knew some of them were really well preserved, like the ibis where you could see the nose, you could see everything in the creature. Um, I had no idea that some of the ones where we thought there was nothing in them would actually have stuff in them, and they do. I mean, now we're trying to pick out these little bits of bone and these, like, piles of junk, and that's really cool. That's really fun to, like, pinpoint the piece of bone and kind of sift it out with just software. Um.